Hey everyone, uh, this video is a quick tutorial on how to build wrappers with um, column charts in them. So let's suppose uh, we'd like to know the lead generation statistics. So the first step to generate to build a wrapper is to go to wrapper uh, submodule <coughs> and click on create button. So um, and now we need to choose um, the module, the data from which will be used um, in order to build this particular wrapper. Um, in our case, um, let's suppose the situation, um, uh, as I've already mentioned, that we need to know uh, how many leads um, every sales manager has generated up to this day. So uh, in order to do this, we need to choose the leads module Click on, by clicking on it. <coughs> um, Right here, we need to choose, we have two filters, level one filter and level two filter. And level uh, one filter leads are already um, selected, so we need to write, uh, to type in date created here. And um, date created before, we're choosing, we're selecting before here, a little bit before today, because we would like to know the whole statistics up to today. Then we click on next uh, arrow and um, uh, on step three we are defining the display fields. <clears throat> so they are uh, the columns and the name of the columns that will be uh, present below the chart. So we would probably like to know um, the name uh, and surname of the particular lead. So we, click, uh, we type in name here. This is the first name and the last name as well as um, assigned to user and um, this means that um, we would like to know what's the username of the um, uh, sales manager um, to, whom uh, to whom all these uh, leads belong so we type in username here <clears throat> and then proceed to the next stage uh, stage four defining group by and here again uh, we select assign to user and username as in previous example so then we click next again and finally we uh, should select the define summary so this is um, id here and count this function then we go uh, down uh, the downwards and um, select the chart type so columns are already selected so in our case the name of the wrapper will be uh, lead for the whole period by user let's say then the final state step is just to uh, click the save button and uh, see the beautiful wrapper created uh, so we can see that Chris has generated 34 leads um, meanwhile Max um, has generated 35 leads um, whereas Sally and Sarah has generated have generated uh, 39 and Will has generated uh, 33 leads to the list. So here is the table uh, with the detailed information uh, the first name and last name and username of the sales manager or any other sales representative. Um, again, uh, here is it. So thank you for your time. I hope this was useful.